In this video, let's look at various keyboard shortcuts which are present in Eclipse. Instead of creating all the keyboard shortcuts as a group, what we have done is created separate videos which cover each of the important sec I mean each of the important broad categories. If you look at refactoring, all the refactoring shortcuts were covered as part of the video Eclipse tutorial refactoring. Save actions is another important thing. It's covered as part of the Eclipse tutorial save actions. Source generation, like generating the setters and all that kind of stuff, is generating two string also is part of the Eclipse tutorial source generation and also code templates and formatting source code. So there are separate videos which are available which cover all the shortcuts for those stuff which are really categorized and in this video let's look at the shortcuts which don't really fit into any of the above categories and let's just make sure that everything is covered okay let's get started uh, the first keyboard shortcut i want to look into is alt up arrow and down arrow alt up arrow and down arrow is useful when you want to move a line of code above and below let's say i want to move this line of code uh, above to the start so this is what the alt down and up arrow helps you to do it helps you to move the line without really selecting it and you don't need to do a control x control v all that you need to do is press alt and press up arrow down arrow so this is alt up arrow and down arrow uh, the i think this is very frequently used shortcut control shift r control shift r helps you to open up a resource so you can open up a java file a xml file any kind of file that you have in your workspace you'd be able to open it using uh, the open resource so all that you need to do is type the name so if I want to just type in hello world so it shows the file which is open in there so I can type in something else and it would help it would get, get me the files which are present which match that the other important thing is you can even type the uh, use the camel case so if you look at this string helper it uses s and h in caps so if i type s and h in caps it brings me the string helper let's say if i want to bring up string helper test i just need to type s h t and it will bring it to me uh, the other shortcut is control shift t which only brings in the types which are present so it only brings in the classes so if classes or enums or uh, any type interface uh string helper or string it shows all the things which are part of your uh project I, it shows some a few things as uh, matching from your direct project and the other things would be whatever is matching in your entire workspace even in your class path so if you want to get the class string builder you can type this or you can just type uh, stbu now this gets you string builder class so these are uh, the shortcuts control shift r and control shift t these are actually used to fetch i mean if you want to see a particular pro i mean particular file or a class you can use control shift r or control shift t if i press control t if i just select any class and press control t over it it shows the complete type hierarchy of that particular class so you can see that uh, the hello world test actually inherits from object uh, let's just for an example i would create public i can't have another public class i just create another class i'll just call it test super class and i'll make the current class which is hello world test extend so extends test super class and now if i do a Control T over it, you'd be able to see the entire hierarchy. So it shows object, test superclass, and hello world test. So that's uh, Control T, which helps you to see the hierarchy. I mean, it's not just over this class, but any other class that you'd want to see, you can see the hierarchy of it. Oops. So it's now trying to create the hierarchy of the exception class. Let's, let's wait for Eclipse to bring up the hierarchy. I think it's a very big hierarchy so there you go it shows the hierarchy of the entire exception class so it shows what are the different exceptions which are present in Java and all that stuff is present that's why it took Eclipse a bit of time to get that information but there you go so control T is very useful it's to bring up the hierarchy of the particular thing
and the next important thing which we would be looking at the next shortcut we would be looking at is control and slash if you, you can see the slash in here so if you press control slash the code gets commented so it uses a single line comment and it comments the entire source code and the other important thing that we'll be looking at is the other shortcut which we'll be looking at is control D it deletes the line so you don't need to select the line just go over the line and say control D and the line gets deleted uh, and the other shortcut is control L and you can just say which line you would want to go to so if I want to go to line number 40 I can take I can do control L and press 40 there you go I would be at line number 40 so um, the next thing which you would be looking at is control Q uh, let's say I make a change somewhere I just uh, I, I added in a sys out here and I just put in it so this is the li last line where I've changed I've been doing some analysis and I go over to some other line so now I'm at line 15 if I go back if I want to go back to the edit location last edit location I press control sorry I need to press control uh, Q and it would take me back to the same location where I did the last edit so it shows where the last change in source code was made that's control Q and control O gives you the outline of a class so you can see what are the different methods which are present if there is any other thing which is present in this class the package you just get an outline of what are the various methods present in this particular class using control O control E is used to shift between toggle between different editors so you can move between different editors when you press control E Eclipse would bring up the list of active editors active files being edited so I would I can go to string helper test if I press enter it would bring up string helper test and or I can go back to hello world test this is control E and the other commands which are present are all shift X which is used usually to uh, execute a class so if I had a main method here and I press all shift X and press J it would run the Java application so it basically runs the application and brings it up the other shortcuts which are present in all shift X are actually run J unit test and you could even run a and this is not really a J unit test so I will not be able to use run J unit test but if you open a J unit test file and if you do all shift X T you'd be able to run the J unit test uh, the other shortcut we can look at is f3 f3 on a class would take you to the def definition of that particular class if I go to exception and press f3 it would bring me up the editor for uh, exception class so that's f3 and f4 uh, just like earlier f4 gets you the entire type hierarchy but the way it would show the type hierarchy is a little different so there you go there you see the entire type hierarchy and you can bring up any class and see what are the different things which are implemented in there so the, this type hierarchy view this is a view uh, it was not something like a pop-up it's a complete view and you'd be able to see the entire um, details of that particular class so you can check what are the methods which are implemented which are overridden which are what variables does it have and all that kind of stuff in, in using the F4 the type hierarchy there you go those are a few important shortcuts as we discussed earlier these are in addition to whatever shortcuts we have already discussed as part of the other Java tutorials if you want to look at them the links to them are below this video thanks for watching this video is part of a series of videos discussing various features in Eclipse different shortcuts and also tips to improve your productivity if you like this video show it by clicking like or commenting or sharing this video we are creating more videos on varied range of topics as we speak subscribe to stay updated thanks for watching until next time bye